Oh, who you know, cares? Yeah, At the end of the day, you know God. You know what God? You know God is the one. You know what? In the Akramakum, in the Akramakum, in the Allah is Look at him taking it all personal. Come, come. Have a good day. You know what? This is exactly what this is exactly what Islam is about. No, it's fine. You know what? I forgive you. I forgive your ignorance. It's fine. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. Don't watch that. I forgive you. I forgive you. No problem. No problem. You know what? This is why I love Islam. This is exactly why I left Christianity because of talk like that. Right. Right, 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 right. Name. So, so if was My name is Hamza. Hamza, why yeah. don't you have a? Um, why do you have a name? Anyway, anyway, anyway. You have, have a choice. You have a choice. You can change your name. Yeah. But yeah, why yeah, no, Arabic, you're right. man? Why can't he just? So, why does he have to? No, not the Arabic name, Hamza. Not mean Arabic name. Muslim name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not Arabic. Anyway, 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 anyway. So why does Muslim have to be Arabic? You know, why can't we just say? You know, you know what I find funny about? You know what I find funny? about this conversation is that a man has to resort a man has to resort to insulting me to prove a point that is just that's just the lowest that's the lowest you know what if this man is if this man is ignorant do you know what i never insult you what did i, what did I say to you you're the blue eyed devil bro say <laughs> Listen, my friend. Listen, listen. Yeah, no. Right, let, let me tell you this, right? Let me tell you this, right? My, 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 okay. <clears throat> our job, right? <coughs> our job as Muslims is, right? Whether you're a Zionist or not, our duty as Muslims. Listen, Lahba. Brother, he said I'm Zionist. Lahba, it's my kalama. Right. What I'm saying to you, right? Irrespective, irrespective of whether you're a Zionist. Brother, wait, I need your, I need your attention. Okay. Irrespective of whether you're a Zionist or not, right? Our, our duty. Our, 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 our duty. All right. All right. Good. All right. I'm a Zionist. He was in chains. He right. wasn't changed by okay. his same wife. Okay. 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 Listen, just shut up. Just be quiet, man. Yeah, yeah. Be quiet, man. Be quiet, man. You're an insult. You're an insult, man. You want to insult me? That's the best you can do. You can't even intellectually refute me. You want you you want to you want to all you want to do is insult me. What does the prophet say? What does the prophet do is insult me? Ask him why he lives here, Dad. Why anyway, why, here? why? This is what my land. This is my land. Why did you come here? Why did you come here? How did the prophet? Why did you come here? No, no, Why did no, no, you no, come here? What, you're, 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 anyway. you're white anyway. Yeah, anyway, anyway, can I? Yeah, yeah, what yeah, color are you? Are you right, black? Right. I'm not black, I'm not white. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Don't black? talk about that. Anyway, there's nothing wrong with black. She never said that. Listen, listen, listen. Like, our duty as Muslims is to call you to that truth. Oh, oh, oh. That's what I'm saying. So, our duty is to call you to that truth, right? Now you might have Islam, look. I'm not, not getting into the whole political political aspect of things. I understand that, that that's a conversation that you would do to you two. You two are happy. No, you two are happy. You know what? 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 Anyway, let's. Our duty as Muslims. Our duty. Our duty. Listen, listen. Just ignore, 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 ignore this. Ignore this. Ignore it. Ignore it. Right. So what I was saying to you, right, brother? Listen, I need, I need, I need your attention. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Look, I don't. To be fair, I don't know what was discussed, right? So maybe it was my fault jumping in like that. But as Muslims, we are we are obligated as Muslims to call you to that truth, right? And and I believe that. In Islam and in Judaism, we have similarities, right? We believe we believe in one God, right? Are you a religious Jew yourself? Okay, right. So, I don't, I don't, I don't know a lot of stuff, but who wrote it? No, that's fine. Listen, listen. No, I, 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 I don't claim, I don't claim to know everything myself, right? Do you understand? So, I don't want to ask Tony Gray. It's the same as the Okay, right. In, in Islam, we believe in. Do you, do you recite the Shema? Yeah. Do, you, do you know the Shema? Yeah. Okay. No, well, as Jews, 
you, you recite Where the Shema, which is wind. Shema Israel, Adonai Elohinu, Adonai Achad. Right. So that's something that you recite three times a day, I think, I believe, or something like this. Uh, some people also, do four. Yeah, four yeah, times yeah. a day. In Islam, we believe that La ilaha illallah, we believe that there's only one God. But we also accept that Prophet Muhammad is the last Prophet of God, right? And we, and the thing is, right, we do not reject, we do not reject the previous dispensations. We don't reject what's in the Torah because we believe that God gave the message to, to, to Moses. But how do you know what's true in the Torah and what's not? Okay, this, this is my point. Right, so in the Quran, right, in the Quran, we believe that God gave the Torah to Moses, right? Now, and the thing is, right, I, be, I personally believe that the Torah has been has been Shut man, up, manipulated. Torah, manipulated. It has Shut been manipulated, up, and I can I can I yeah. can demonstrate to you that that is the case. Oh, right? Yeah. I can demonstrate oh, yeah, to you that oh, is the case. Yeah, yeah. And this I is. Mean, there's no point because I can't. I don't know how. To no, no, no. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. And the yeah, thing is, right? Like if you if we look, like for example, at um, Deuteronomy you know chapter 34, day. 10, right? It says, since then, there's never been a prophet risen in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord has met face to face. Right? So what we see here is that Moses is talking about his own demise. Moses is talking about his own death. Now, logically speaking, my friend, you, sound, you, you seem like an intelligent guy. Is it possible for a man to write his own death if he's dead already? Yeah, yeah, go on. And this is what, if you, if you I'm, I'm giving you the verses. Do you tell me chapter 34, verse 10? No, I don't understand the question. What's the question again? Okay. You asked me just now, how do I know that the Torah has been corrupted or it's been no. manipulated? How do you know what, you, what to take from the Torah? What not to take? Okay, okay. Right, in the Quran, right, and, it, and I think the Quran, it, it really does, sorry, um, I'm not sure who this belongs to. Right, so in the Quran, we believe, right, that Allah in the Quran, we, we, we call God Allah, right? Right, okay. In the Quran, Allah says, وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ kitab," And we taught him the book. بِالْحِكْمَةِ وَالتَّوْرَاتُ injil. We taught him the book and the power of the understanding of the Torah and the Injil. وَرَسُولًا إِلَىٰ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيل And we made him a, a messenger and a prophet to the children of Israel. So we believe that Jesus and Moses, they were prophets to the, to the children of Israel. And we do believe that God inspired them with the book, with the revelation. However, the revelation that we have in our possession today is not the same revelation that was given to, to Moses at that time. And I gave you a verse, and I gave you a verse, right? In, De in Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse 10. One minute, Rob. I, 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 and do, yeah, re look at it. Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse 10. Obviously, it speaks about. Uh, I'm not sure. You can tell your friend. 34, verse 10. Deuteronomy 34, verse 10. That's the end of it. What's the number of people in Hebrew? What's the number of people in Hebrew? Chapter 34. Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse 10. Who said that? I said I'm promoting it today. How can I be there 1400 years ago? Is your brain working? Your logic? That's what I said. That's what I said. What? Well, I learned, some, learned some logic. We can have a discussion today. Go. That's why I left this place. Everybody thinks they know. If I enslave your people, and then you come and me, should I continue or should I? Do you want to? Yeah, carry on. Okay, right. Right, so. I'll let you, no, let I'm you listening, I'm listening, okay I'm listening. right so what it is right we believe in the previous dispensations we do not need we don't need we do not negate that the that the previous um, revelation that God has sent to uh, to his prophets his Navi you call it Navi right yeah we call it Nabi right we all we affirm as Muslims the previous dispensations we don't need we don't deny them we don't negate them However, what we do believe is that there have been some manipulations that's happened to the Torah, right? Although we respect the Torah, we hold it in high esteem and we respect, obviously I respect your religion. No, however, however, we believe that Prophet Muhammad is the final Navi that was sent no, to all of mankind. And even obviously, I, I, I don't know if you're familiar with the New Testament, but obviously we believe that Jesus was sent to the, just to the Jewish people. And Allah in the Quran says that in the Quran. In fact, in the Quran, Allah says, 
وَإِذْ قَالَ إِيسَى بُنُ I'll translate it for you, right? Okay. Allah says, وَإِذْ قَالَ إِيسَى بُنُ مَرْيَمْ يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ إِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ Verily, I am the messenger of God sent to you. I am the messenger of God sent to you. So we can see that the, in the Quran, God, which is Allah, sent the Navi, which is Jesus, and we don't believe that Jesus is God as Muslims. We don't believe that. We completely, we completely negate that, right? Now I understand that. Um, do you follow? Do you follow the thirteen principles of Maimonides? You, you follow uh, Maimonides, right? Okay. So, do you, do you do, are you aware of all the thirteen principles of? Uh, I'm not sure. They are. Okay. So, I'm not. I'm not very learned. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just. I'm. I'm a student, just like yourself. Do you know what I mean? But obviously, if you look at the thirteen principles of Maimonides, right? You have the ninth principle, right? Is that the Torah? The Torah cannot be changed, right? This is what he says, I'm, I believe he says this, right? right? However, there are other scholars, right? Like Yusuf Elbo, you know Yusuf Elbo? Yusuf Elbo. Okay, Yusuf Elbo. Joseph, Joseph Elbo, right? Are you, familiar, are you familiar with rabbinical literature? Yes. Okay, are you familiar with Sifah al-Karim? Sifah al-Karim. No, okay, no, it's not. It's not Arabic. It's actually Sefah Al Karim, Volume Four. I'm not sure what Sefah Karim is. Okay, let me get out. Yeah, Sefah Al Karim, Volume Three, Chapter Fourteen. Right? Okay, you can hold on. Wait. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Huh? You got it? It's just an extract from. Um, <laughs> I've got the book at home, but. Famous Jewish philosophers. Yusuf Alva. I never heard of it. Okay. He's well known. He's, he's quite. He's well known. He's well known. No, 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 anyway. Worries. Right. Anyway. Anyway, so. In Sifah al Karim, Volume 3, and also Yusuf Abraham, in. Uh, hold on one second, bear with me. Do you mean, do you mean, do you mean Abraham Bichabo? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, in there it says that the Torah, right? Of course, I, 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 so if we look at the, the, all the 13 principles. Of, brother, please, please, please. Oh, obviously, in a minute, I'll get to you. We'll get to you. Anyway, so if we look at the all the thirteen principles of Maimonides, the the ninth principle, and I agree with some of the, with most of the principles, like God is eternal, for example, God doesn't have a beginning, God doesn't have any end. Like these are some of the sifat, some of the uh, the attributes of God that us, us Muslims we hold dear to, that we believe that God is eternal. For example, Allah says in the Quran, "La taqduhu sinatun wa neither slumber nor sleep overtake him." In the Quran, Allah says, "Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyul qayyum." Allah, there is no other god besides Him, the ever living, the eternal. So, 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 so obviously there are certain principles that Maimonides holds in his thirteen principles that us Muslims do actually hold dear to, right? But in terms of the ninth principle, where it says that the Torah cannot be changed, we know that there are scholars that say otherwise that it can be changed depending on the circumstances and the place right so it does depend it says it can be changed let's go let's go very simple and i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna take an offense this is this? to what you're saying yeah yeah i don't know i'm is. sorry about that i'm gonna take an offense that means that we are people ready for four thousand years we have defended ourselves we have survived throughout prosecution throughout throughout our history what we have always kept there is the torah that the torah is written today i don't know if you know the same way it was written thousands of years ago with a scribe, with the same ingredient of ink, with the same lettering. That means is, if you're going to, they found now, they sold now a codex, old, a thousand one hundred years ago. Yeah. And it's not a Torah because it's a book. A Torah has certain rules, how every letter has to be written, how many words on each line, and everything has to be done. Now, even a codex that is basically a book, that hasn't have this, that doesn't have perhaps the same holiness as a Torah. That means is, for us, a Torah is the ultimate holiness. You take it out of the ark, everyone stands up. As it passes you, everyone kisses it. 
and the rules and regulations, how it has to be written, how it has to be done. Any part of the Torah that has ever been found in archaeological findings yeah. have always matched exactly the Torah we have today. And let me continue. Let me the fact that everyone in the, from Europe... Let me go further. Go on, continue. I'm listening. I'm listening. We have the Jews in Yemen and the Jews in Europe who had no connection for a thousand years. No yeah. connection between us. That means that if I walk into any Yemenite synagogue where the action has changed over years, that I would even have a hardship to understand the lettering, the way they speak, because they have evolved within an Arabic country, and the action they have has affected the way they've written, the way they read mm. the Torah. And for me, who I've, who my history has taken me through Europe, as an Ashkenazi Jew, as a verb, yeah. my accent has evolved according to, with European understanding, and my accent is different to theirs. I'd have a difficulty understanding. It's still, if I open up my book, my Torah, I open up their Torah, it matches word for word. Okay. Now, but it, the okay. codex that is sold in you last week, that yeah. isn't a Torah, that doesn't have the same regulations how it has to be written, it still matches the Torah to us. Now, I appreciate you come from a different Ummah and a different belief, and I would say is look internally. Never come to a person to a different religion who have been slaughtered millions by Christians as well as sadly by our Muslim brothers throughout history to defend what we believe is sacred to us. Yeah. And for that we have been murdered, prosecuted and killed for in the thousands and in the millions. Yeah. Don't come and tell us mm. that there is a corruption where you see corruption. You can say is you stick to your Quran, your holy book, and I wish you the best in it and study it well and mm. I see you're well versed in it and I appreciate it. Mm. I love the way you could my heart just pull out of your head verses and it's stunning to see and I appreciate that but to come and tell a Jew mm. a Yehud who comes from Yehuda yeah. a geographical location in Israel mm. where we have been in 2,000 years in exile that means it's after the Romans have kicked, has kicked us out of our own land yeah. after the Assyrians kicked out the, the kingdom of Israel yeah. and a few hundred years later came the Romans and kicked us out mm. and we stood fast defending it keeping our religion keeping and it isn't just a, a, a belief where you have to call out Shema Yisrael. There are prayers, there are regulations from the way we get dressed to what we eat, to yeah. what we drink, to how we eat it, to what every part of our life is regulated according to the Torah. Mm. And we have kept it there throughout our history through the hardest hardship possible to come and tell us that it's been corrupted when we have been defending it and trying to, our, our entire history to keep it alive. And we call the Torah in our own language, Torah Chaim, the Torah, the book of life yeah. that is alive, that is still studied today by thousands and millions of Jews around the world against all odds. That means that we were a minority in every single land throughout our exile and we kept it alive against defending against the Crusades, against the Christian belief where they fought and murdered. Can I, can I just say, sure. okay, so, you know, first of all, I am sorry that this has happened to you. You know, no, 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 hold on one second. I'm sorry that this has happened to you because um, atrocities are atrocities and that can, that's something that cannot be um, condoned, In right? Any way, we, 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 condemn, any we condemn any form of um, aggression or we, you know, can condemn any form of violence, you know. But as I, I feel as a duty as a Muslim is, I'm, I'm not, you know, that I have to call you to that truth. It's just like if you have the truth, then you have to call me to that truth. It's like it, the it, it, is, one, one second, one second. I, 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 I understand where you're coming from. And I understand that what happened to you, you know, many years ago, in, in, it's, it's disgusting. And we can never, we can never condone such actions, you know. So, and the thing is, right, I am just going according to, um, you know, obviously when I say that the, that the, 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 the Torah has been, manipulated i don't mean that in respect to to, uh, to cause any sort of uh, disrespect to you or to um to cause some type of upheaval what i'm what i'm merely trying to to, to suggest to you is that when, when we can find evidence of you know um change changes that has happened in the torah i think it's a duty upon me it's just like for example if I, you it, hold on one second if you see anything that's in the Quran that you would point out to me as a Muslim, then I will stand up and I will listen, right? So what I'm saying is that when I looked at some of the 13 principles of Maimonides, right? And, and, and as a Muslim, I, I agree with a lot of the principles that's contained in it. And also it says that the Torah is the word of God. 
However, we believe as Muslims that the, the Quran is the muhaymin. It is the overseer. It is the overwatcher of what's, what's right is the criteria. So anything that's inside the Torah, you know, the Quran literally oversees it. And what I mean by this, hear me out just for a second, right? For example, in the Quran, and I'll give an example to demonstrate this, the point I'm, uh, I'm alluding to. When Allah in the Quran says, um, La taqhudhuhu sinnatun wala no, neither slumber nor sleep overtaketh him. It's our, right? it's, our, it's our prayer every night before we go to bed. Well, yeah, well, well you're, you're one close step to, you're one close step to Islam, inshallah. <laughs> right? Think about it for a second, right? Allah says, neither slumber nor sleep overtaketh him. In fact, Allah says in the Quran, no one can grasp the knowledge of God. No one can grasp the knowledge of God except whom he wills, right? Now, if we look at the book of Genesis, right? And again, I'm just going to point this verse out to you. And you tell me, and you tell me what you, you think of this verse, right? Now, it says in, in, in Genesis, it says that God, after he created the heavens and the earth, he rested, right? He rested. Here we go. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, I, know, I 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 know you've heard this argument so much before. I know. Bless you. Bless you. But, but the thing is, right? Obviously, like, if we, and this is the reason why I said that the Quran is the Muhaymin, it is the I'm, overseer. I'm, I'm, now, I'm going to so, tell you a few things. So, and I'm going to so I want your question. explanation I'm going to, to answer that. that question. I'm you, going to give you, you a step me. back. Yeah. The step back is remember, for us Jewish people, we have a different mindset than many different religions. First of all, is as a Christian would believe that the only way through the Father is through who they call Jesus, yeah? A Muslim would believe is the only way up to heaven is through accepting Muhammad, yeah? Muhammad Rasulullah. That's the, you have to be from the Ummah of Islam. You have to take the Shahada, yeah? So you believe that the, the truth is in Islam and Christians would believe that the truth is in Christianity. For us Jews, there's a different thing completely. We believe is that God gave every people should continue the, the way as long as they're good people should continue their own Omar and their own books and their own things but he gave for us our own book right. and our book for us is the Torah now in the Torah it isn't mentioned anything else because the Torah only focuses to us it doesn't focus on the other people we aren't a religion that go out to the park and come and tell people join Judaism because it's not our job because if you're a good Muslim Alhamdulillah yeah praise the Lord on that because it's not our duty to bring you into Judaism. It is your Ummah for your people, my Ummah for my people, and every Ummah for their people. So there is, the truth for us is our truth, and that's where it begins and ends. Okay. Now. Okay, go on. Go now, on. when it comes to understanding the Torah, the way the Torah is written through the, the 24 holy books, it starts by Genesis, go through the five books, what we call of Moses, and then you start Judah, the 2,000 years of Jewish people living in the land of Israel, yeah? So you have from the sixth book till the 24 books of the 2,000 years of Judaism in the land of Israel. Okay, but... but, that, but, but that, well, let's, yeah. let's go. The way it's written... You, you need Torah, to answer... Yeah, I'm going to... The way yeah, the, Torah please, is written is, the Torah is written, a language that it should be understood by human beings. It's not a language written for God to understand it. It's a Torah, it's a book of laws, it's a way of life given to who? given to a certain tribe, a certain set of tribes called Yehudim, Bnei Israel, the, the children of Jacob. And in this book is, it gives you the whole setup of how we view the world. Mm. The language it's spoken is, you would have, for example, that God was angry, God was upset. God, God was... So would you agree? I, 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 okay. One second. Yeah. God, God rested. God, all these type of uh, euphemisms that we should be able to internalize. That means this, for example is, world was created in six day and in the seventh day he rests yeah doesn't mean the way we understand rest so how do you interpret the, way, the word rest how we interpret the word rest is yeah that the creation set of the world it continues god continues to keep this world alive throughout our history and you could ask my son from four years old is god resting give me a jewish scholar that holds that opinion every single jewish scholar give me an every, example take any Ooh. scholar Give take, me the, okay. Let's go so, now. Let's okay. go now. Open up. Open up a safari. Yeah? Okay. Let's take this verse in Beratius. Okay. Let's go to. And what, what is it? So what is the? Okay. So you show me. Every, I mean, you tell I'll, me. I'll, I'll show you. Every single Jewish scholar sees it. There's not a single Jewish scholar that sees well, it. Where it says that. rested means the what you interpreted, right? Yes, a hundred percent. Okay. Go on. Every single. Too. Let's go to Shishi, the seventh day of the world. Let me find it. 
my glasses on. Okay, and, you take your glasses off. I think it's the screen. Right. 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 Fourth day, and second, fifth day, sixth day. You take your time and you find it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Take your time. So let's start too. You got here. This is the verse in the in the Bible, yeah. On the seventh day, got finished work and ceased the seventh day from doing any work. Now let's see. You got commentary on this on this thing here on this website itself. Fifty-eight commentaries. Start by the first. Now what it means is, let's see. Shabbos came, and the work that was finished on creating the universe. Go to the next one, Even Ezra. Okay, let's go through here. It goes every single one. Was brought into being. Every single, go through any and every single commentary. Okay. It is that the world came to complete. It should be understood by humans that way. Okay, so... Every, every single, that means in every single verse yeah. in the Torah, where you have anger, sadness, who created anger? Anger is a creation. Okay, so sadness the is word, a creation. So, so would you say that rest... rest Rest is a human attribute, it's right? A, it, it's, a, it's not a human attribute. Well, it's, I, when I'm it, tired, it, it, it's, from a, it, it's, a, it's a human. It, it's something that is, it's is down. To, is yeah. down to, in creation, we have it. Yes, it's a human attribute. So, of it's a defi so would you admit it's a deficiency? hundred percent. Okay, so. But you're going to say, do no, we? No, go on. You, you want to say something? Go on. Yeah, go no, on. do you put this deficiency no, up no, to God? No, no. no, but it's the only way no, humans no. could comprehend. We can't comprehend God. We understand that, yeah. No, no, I'm not denying that you can't. You, you cannot comprehend God. And there are certain things about God we don't understand. However, what do you mean? our understanding and God's understanding are two different things. Our understanding I agree, is the creation. I agree with you. Is the creation. But what I'm saying to you, right, is that resting, right, is a human attribute. 100%. That, so, for example, anger, okay, yes, God does get angry if we, if we disobey him, for example. But does God get angry? Angry is a creation. It is for us humans to be able to comprehend a certain thing what happens when you So, if you against... disobey God, would God be angry with you? In our understanding, in our words, we would say yes. But, okay. is, it really, but is it really what's going on up there? Who no, we no, comprehend? But no, but, no, but we can't. But no, we can't because. because God... Take it a step further. Anger is a creation. No, no, hold on one it second. It is a creation. In the Quran. The one who created it can't, doesn't have to, is not bound by it. One second. It is a human comprehension. Allah says, Laysa kemithli There's nothing like unto me. The Bible also makes the same claim. There's nothing like unto God. So the anger that God exercises is not the same anger we exercise. I don't even think you so, could so, even, so what I'm I don't saying, even think you could even call it, it is a, that means it's all attributes of God. Rachamim and all this. Is it, is it, it's, for us, the way we look up to something, it's from our perspective, from God's perspective, it's, it, 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 it doesn't even stick to him. It, it's something that we can't comprehend because not anger, no, but not I agree. I'm not, I'm not, not disagreeing. Nothing of that. So even when we say anger, God is angry, is it, is God angry? Do we understand what anger means? No, no, no. When it I'm... comes to me and you, you're going to punch me, I'm going to be angry. But the anger I play, it, it's a creation in this universe. What it does, I, play, I have no idea. I'm not, I'm not I, I don't disagree with you, but what I'm saying to you, right, is that when God says he is angry, like for example, if you if you, commit, if you committed adultery, for example, yes. right, and you didn't repent for your sins, was God going to be angry with you? In my understanding, it will be yes. What happens up there, I don't know. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm not saying and that. That's what I'm, no, saying. I'm, I'm Torah, not saying that we. That's not, what I'm saying. The Torah is a book of is, is a book of rules and a book of life. So it's speaking I'm not, to I'm you. I'm not disagreeing with you. What I'm saying to you, right, is that God is not like us, and I agree with you. God is not like us. He, he, the Quran is very emphatically clear about that. God says, Laysa kemithli hi shay. There's nothing like unto me. And in the book of Isaiah, it also, God makes the same claim. There's nothing like unto me. So the, 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 God's anger... It, it, it is the alphabet. Oh, oh, one second. The, God's anger is not like our anger. I agree with you. The anger we have is a creation. However, 
when we look at the deficiencies that we find in, in like for example in the Torah like for example where God says he rests for example now I understand I, I'm not negating the fact that you gave me an explanation and you try to uh, um, I don't, explain I, obviously I don't try. It's, it's I, I, meaning. I think it's, I think it's a non-start of a question if you understand the way the Torah is written it's a non -start but this is a big deficiency and, and, and deficiency from your, you know from your perspective is, what is my one thing that you know about my is a negative theologian so he, he only negates so he never but we can't but we can't understand God but we can't we can't comprehend it. that's the issue we can't comprehend God do you understand what I'm saying but, yeah. he's a but, negative but theologian God. meaning that he that, 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 that basically my is saying you can only say what God is not but not what God is so he doesn't make positive assertion right so that's a bit problematic from from the Jewish perspective because do you believe that God is ever living they are ever living in, 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 in the way we see ever living. That means is he alive that he doesn't die? He, it's it's it, it, it's for everness, but the word no, living but do we is have life. We have life that comes to an end. Okay, but does God have life? It, does God have our type of life? Definitely no, no, not. no, I'm not asking about that. So I'm is not, the word life the right word to does use? Does God die? He never dies, definitely not. So that's the opposite to God is ever living, right? We, we, it, yes, but because we take what we are framed in and we try to comprehend something that is incomprehensible using words that we have. But this can't be reflected onto God, it could be reflected onto God as much as we, are, we talk to our children, God never dies, yes, God is always living, God is always existing, it's in our prayer. But the second you go to a step deeper, okay. you have to understand. Oh, so I'll give, that a, is, I'll give but, an example, does, that, does God produce offspring? <coughs> definitely not. He doesn't? No, because he okay. doesn't do what, Good. what we humans do. Okay, fine. He made us, we are creation of offsprings. The same way. We, we have a complete different setup. That means that as a Muslim, you would believe in abrogation. But us, abrogation doesn't exist. No, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking for about abrogation. Us, for us, abrogation doesn't I'm exist. I'm talking about affirmation. For us, there is, no, there is no New Testament, there is no Quran, there yeah. is no Jesus, and there is no your prophet also. Oh, no, no, it doesn't no. exist to us because oh, the Torah no. spoke to yeah. our people and the Torah speaks the language of people to us. I understand where you're coming from. I'm not, I'm not talking about abrogation. I'm talking about um, affirmation and negation. So do you affirm God's attributes and do you also negate God? <laughs> What do you mean by affirm? We, our prayer, the main prayer we have is Shema Yisrael, listen to Israel, Hashem yeah, yeah. 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 God is one. Yeah. The Rambam, who you call him, yeah. is, what does he write on the word one? That okay. this oneness isn't compared to any other oneness. That's what I'm but saying. Because yeah, yeah. Oneness, every other one oh, yeah, is no, one, but it could be this okay. oneness doesn't exist. There isn't, there isn't any other such oneness like this oneness. This oneness, okay. Is the one that it can't be compared to any other one. It isn't like we understand. So it's not one. sufficient to say God is one. God is one. Yes, God is one. That's in our understanding. Now, you want to understand it a step deeper. What does the one mean? One isn't a simple one. The way we understand one, it's a. There is no one like this one. Okay, but do you say God is God uh, is not multiple? Definitely not multiple. Definitely not multiple. Okay. Definitely. But God is one. God is one. Okay, that that goes against Rambam. Because Rambam. Is no, a, that's the, that's my monody in the first. In the first verses, let me show it to you. No, because what I meant to say... I'm, I'm going to show you the, sure. the Rambam in the first. What I'm trying to say, the Rambam what, when he starts... Yeah, yeah. What I'm trying to say, I'm, Rambam, he's a negative theologian, meaning he always says God is not. But he doesn't say what God is. I'll tell you, I'll show you But Rambam. he gives the condition, God is one, but not like us. Okay. That, okay. That's the point. Like, you have to make a subject close to it. You have to clarify what is meant one here. Yeah. But we understand... Exactly. Yeah. 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 Let me show you inside the Rambam. Let me define the second inside the Rambam. Yeah. And I'll show it here, it's easy even. Sure, sure. So you affirm God is one? Definitely. Every, no, but they, every day. No, but they have to clarify what one is. No, we don't. You if, you go, if you go into... We, we, we focus far less. We, the Torah is far less about what you believe and what you okay, think about God, what you do. All right, yeah, that's all number one. What about God? Is, the, is God the creator? Definitely. But do we create? No, how can we create? Well, we do create stuff, don't we? Oh, uh, uh, not in the same way. In a human stuff. level, yeah. we, we, we make things. Exactly, yes. exactly. So you don't have to clarify further God as the creator. One second. Uh, he's uh, not let's, like any other. Like, like let's, he's the let's creator, go, but yeah. he's not like Let's go into Rama. We, we're point. opening up Rama yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's start. Where is it? In 10 seconds. We show that to you. Chapter 1. Sure. This is the way. One second. This is chapter 2. Chapter mm -hmm. 1. Thank 
How are you doing, bro? You okay, yeah? Yeah, doing good. Oh, sorry. What's the discussion? Oh, we're talking about... Uh, the... I'm looking for Rambam, the first Rambam. Why can I find it to you? See that water? I don't know who that belongs to. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm not drinking. To... Yeah, discard it. Yeah. So the Rambam is. Oh, okay. So that is the foundation of all foundations and the fellow of wisdom is to know that it is a primary being yep. who brought into being all existence mm. and all the beings from heaven and earth and everything in between. No, no, this is how. Now, it should not go into your mind. If one would imagine that he does not exist, no other being. Nothing else could exist without yeah, it. Without yeah, yeah, yeah. If you imagine that none of the cyclones exist, he alone, he alone can still exist without the universe, yeah? Okay. He alone can exist without the universe. Let's continue. This entity, God, is the Lord of the world and the Lord of entire earth. Yeah. Unbound power, power, power without interruption, interruption because it's, it's constantly, uh, well, he causes everything that goes on in the world is his cause. That's the he causes to revolve. That means the whole everything in in the universe is that is that exists today is all still in existence only because it's God's will to, that it should still exist. Okay. Next. You know that you don't think I am your God. Anyone who presumes that there is any other God transgress the negative commandment. So when you say, uh, sorry, I just want to clarify. When it says I am God, your Lord, yes. do you have to clarify f further what no. it means I am God, your no. Lord? No, that's what it is. That's where it ends. Okay. That's where it ends. I heard something different about uh, Rambam. No, that's where it ends. You can take every prayer. You, have, you can take every prayer a thousand times a day. We pray five, we pray three times so a day. Do you have a problem if I say God is the creator? Uh, no. God you is the creator. No, God okay, is the creator. Okay, by Rambam, you, you have to clarify what you mean by the creator. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. Because I he, learn Rambam every day. No, no, no. Because you have to say God contra Rambam, you have to say God is the creator. You have to say anything. But he's not but he is no like other creators. Like no. Him. Yeah. It, 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 the, when you say is one thing, now what happens is the Rambam went into theology, into 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 the detailed understanding of theology. Yes. Once you go into understanding, he tries to teach children to understand that it is far deeper in understanding than the simple use here. That means it's the other names of God, God's essence, but is it the way we relate to God? And all that type of understanding. Okay. And, that, and that's the point. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay. okay. Anyway, I'm going to... Sorry, can I ask you a question? Sure, yeah. brother. Um, what, was the, you, what was the uh, conclusion? Uh, no conclusion. I don't know. It was... Uh, I, was, I thought... Was no, he came. He came up with an explanation about what rest means, and he he, he, he didn't exactly read exactly what it was. He just kept flipping through different interpretations. But and the thing is, I was speaking to that guy, and he just walked away. Do you know what I mean? All right, okay, um, the, young the, guy. the young guy, and he was listening. He was listening, okay. but then I had other people that came in and they wanted to, like, you know. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that Maimonides is a negative theologian, meaning that he will only say what God is not. He will never say what God is, so he, he will never make positive assertion about God. And if yeah. you are going to make positive assertion about God, yeah. you have to be specific. What do you mean God as the creator? Do you mean he's the creator of the heavens and the earth? Yeah, Because course. we as humans can create things, right? Of course, on a human level, yeah. Exactly, but he disagrees, which I, I'm not sure. I'll have to look into. Even I looked into Safari app about God rest. It's not it's not clear response. Even okay. Ibn Ezra had some disagreements with uh, Rashi about it. So it's not it's not very clear. Because when I when I said do you know have you heard of Yusuf Elba there wasn't no I think they do know oh no, just no, they no, said he, oh I don't he's know he's well known he's well known and he's well known he's a Abraham well known Turbo, they're, they're well known Yusuf Abraham anyway let me clarify yeah. just Bismillah Rahman Rahim um, I was with uh, Raihan and we were talking to two uh, Jewish guys and uh, inshallah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide them um, I was previously you know um, accosted and I was shouted at by some Christians but you know may Allah guide them too I mean Barakallah Fiqh